Welcome back sports fans. Second round of the GHSA baseball playoffs continuing on the diamond this week, deciding game three between West Lawrence and Troop County. Winner punches their ticket to the Elite Eight. Bases loaded for Troop County early in the contest and the Tigers answer the call. Torian Delaney scores Carson Walker to open up the scoring in Dexter and it will be quite the inning for the visitors and the home team as well. As a matter of fact, Raiders are unlucky and the Tigers get hot at the plate to hang seven runs in the second inning and that makes for a substantial lead and would pretty much hold the rest of the ball game. Now later in the third, sophomore pitcher Cohen Cardwell for the Raiders tries to stop the bleeding with a strikeout and gets out of the frame, but still trailing by a touchdown. Troop continues to add insurance. Davis Moncus with a sack fly to right field, and it's deep enough to score Garrison Edwards from third, and now it's 8 0 Troop County. Moving along to the bottom of the fourth, the Raiders show some life. Sophomore Grant Baker with the bases loaded fielder's choice scores a Jordan Hall from third, and that cuts the lead to seven runs. And in the same inning, the Raiders continue to make contact. Reed McFadden with the RBI double to the empty space and left near the foul line. That brings Holton Stokes home to touch the plate, but a running error ends the inning for West Lawrence and also ends the threat. Troop is moving on. Your final from Dexter 10 to 2. West Lawrence ends their season 21 and 11 on the year. Other deciding game three in town sees Perry moving on to the Elite Eight with a 2 1 walk off win over Whitewater. Connor Shaw had the two out RBI single in the bottom of the seventh. The Panthers rallied back to back wins over the Wildcats after an 18 8 loss in game one. Perry will play North Oconee on Monday at home at the Panther Pit beginning at 4 o'clock. And we have several other schools advancing to the GHSA Elite Eight baseball playoffs, starting with Bleckley County. The Royals traveled to Prince Avenue on Saturday for the best of three beginning at 4 o'clock. Crawford County will defend their house hosting the Weber School for a series as well in Roberta. 4 o'clock is the first pitch. Mary Persons will fire up the Foxy City with the home series versus Wesleyan beginning at 3.30 on campus in Forsyth. And Wilcox County, they have a date with Bowden. 2 o'clock start in Rochelle, weather permitting. Make sure you go out and fire up the Patriots. And 6A defending state champion Houston County still in it to win it. They return back home to the Garden, hosting Lassiter next Monday as well as Perry. Celebrate good times. Come on.